Welcome to my video review of the Zomoto Greet Pro Smart Video Doorbell. I'll be showing you how to do the installation of this as well as doing a review on it for you. And I'll also show you how this works with your Alexa Show or Fire TV. All you need to do is ask Alexa to show the camera to see a live view and see who's at the door. Now your Greet will answer the door wherever you are and it also gives you a full 180 degree viewing angle with full 1080p HD video. Not to mention, you can also see up to 16 feet away in the dark. Now, I love that I can set up my own smart motion alerts so I can define what area will trigger an alert to my phone. And when I want to play back any of the videos with the time lapse ability, you can watch an entire day of videos in just a matter of minutes. You never have to worry about missing any visitors because Greet will always answer the door when you can't. So let's take a look and see what we get inside the box. So besides the camera, you also get the mounting hardware along with a level. You get the instruction guide. You also get a window cling to show people that you have cameras in your home. You get a screwdriver with both a Phillips head and a flat head, as well as a masonry bit should you need that. Let's go ahead and look at the installation. Now, I previously had another model of the Zomoto Outdoor Doorbell. So you can see I've already taken um, that off there and I have my wiring exposed. So all you would need to do is go ahead and remove your wiring uh, from your existing doorbell. And since my doorbell is put at kind of a weird place, um, I needed to kind of cut a little groove out for the wire to fit into so that the face plate would sit uh, just perfectly on the house itself and not stick up at all. Now I have already marked and pre-drilled the holes for the screws. So at this point, all I'm doing is putting in the screws to hold the plate in place. And you can either go ahead and use the screwdriver that was provided, or if you have a drill, you're welcome to use that as well. And that's exactly what I did. As you can see, I started out with just the screwdriver and that was working okay, but going a little slow for me. So I decided to get out the drill and just put the last of the screws in using my drill. Now that I have the bracket installed, I want to point out that you want to make sure that all of your screws are flush with the bracket itself. You don't want them sticking up at all because that will interfere with um, sliding the actual doorbell on. So now what you want to do is go ahead and take your wires and just simply screw those around the two screws that you see here. Those are the two wires that you would have originally had attached to your doorbell. And it doesn't matter which one goes on which side. Just make sure that you have removed enough of the plastic off the wiring so you get a good connection. I'm also going to strongly suggest that you lay a towel or something down because you are working with some very tiny little screws and they happen to bounce when they hit concrete. So if you drop one, um, yeah, good luck finding it again. All right, we're now going to go ahead and attach the doorbell. And you'll notice that there's a hole in the bottom, which it happens to be flashing green. That's because the light inside is flashing green, which you can see around the actual ring of the doorbell. So you simply need to slide the doorbell onto the mounting bracket and push it down. And then they include a very, very small screw that's going to go into that hole in the bottom. So there is how tiny that screw is. And again, you want to be careful not to drop that. So you'll take the flat edge of the screwdriver and use that to go ahead and screw that tiny little screw into the very bottom. Now, if you're wondering just how secure is this going to be if somebody were to try and steal it, they would have to know where that screw is and be able to get that taken out because trust me, that is securely in place. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and remove the plastic that is covering the actual lens to the camera. That way you'll be able to get a clear view when you're trying to view it. Let's go ahead and get this set up and working with the app. I forgot to tell you before that this camera does work on both the 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz frequencies. So you can connect to either one of those. What you want to do is download the Zomoto app, which is free of charge. 
And you can see I have other cameras already. I have several, so um, they're so good that I love just sticking with one brand. So all we're gonna do is hit the plus sign in the corner so we can add a camera. And it's telling me to hit the next button because I do already have it turned on. It wants me to go ahead and turn on my audio because it's going to speak to me. At this point, it's going to go ahead and find my Wi-Fi connection. And when it does... Please connect your phone to your Wi-Fi network. Your devices will also connect to this network. Please enter your Wi-Fi password and make sure that it is correct. So I'm going to enter my password off screen so you folks don't see that at home. And then after entering that, I'll simply hit next. Please scan the QR code with your device. Hold the screen in front of the camera until you hear the next message. If you need additional help, tap the help button at the top right. Now at this point, you need to go hold your phone showing the QR code in front of the camera lens until it actually goes ahead and reads that. We're almost done, and now it is time for you to go ahead and give your device a name as well as a password. Make sure it's something that you can remember for your password. I'm holding my thumb over the password so you don't see it, but I named it Doorbell. And then we just simply hit the next button. It says, congratulations, you are now all done. Go ahead and hit done. And it's, this is where you can go and sign up for your free 30 days of the cloud services. We're going to skip this at this point because we can always come back to this at any time. Now it's asking if we want to sh share this device with anybody else. We're going to hit later because we can always do that uh, at a later point. And you can see how you can also edit your um, different cameras that you have. The doorbell just automatically became the top one. So we hit the live view shoot, and you can see that is what the camera is viewing. And that is what it's doing when I turned it um, horizontally. Now you'll see that there are some icons there. We have the button to go ahead and speak. We have the camera button, so I can go ahead and just take a picture of that. And I can also go ahead and record video if I want to. So if I see something a little suspicious, I can always record it at any given time. And let's go ahead and go back to the vertical position. Now you'll notice across the bottom, there is the LD right there in the bottom right hand or left hand corner. If I press that, it will go into high definition. So you can choose between the two at any given time. You've got your video button, your camera, your microphone, um, your volume, which you can mute as well a back button and then up in the upper, upper right hand corner we have these settings so this is where you can go in and turn your microphone on and off turn the chime on and off this is where you would set up the sharing this is where you'd set up your motion detection area your volume your voice message um, turn on the microphone or the chime do the sharing your cloud services so this is where you'd find those another cool feature is when you're vertical if you see at the bottom of the screen, there's an arch with Evaldus going back and forth. So as I'm angling my phone, it is actually showing me a different angle of that full 180 degrees. So you don't have to be just horizontal to be able to view this. There are currently 10 Alexa devices that will work with this camera. So I'm going to show you how to use it with your Alexa show. Now I happen to have an Alexa show, so that's what I'm going to show you how to connect. You want to go into your Alexa app on your phone and you want to enable the skill of Zomodo. So again, Z-M-O-D-O. -O. And when you go in and enable that skill, I've already added it so you can see it's already in there. Now what I want to do is go into my smart home. And from there, I want to add a device. So Alexa is now in the discovery mode and it is looking for any devices. As you can see here, it says to make sure it's turned on, plugged on, or <laughs> plugged in, or the switch is now put on in pairing mode. And that this might take just a moment. So I'm gonna fast forward through this part. All right, as you can see, it found the doorbell. So I am going to let Alexa Alexa, show me the doorbell. Okay.
and there we go. Now, fortunately, it's not showing up as clear here on my iPad oops, as it is on the Alexa screen. Hmm, I don't know that. Ooh, she doesn't know that. <laughs> But anyway, that's how quick and easy it is to look at your devices. So that just to show you just how quick and easy it is to set this all up and get it working. Um, I want to let you know I do have several other videos on different MeShare, Zomoto, and Funlux cameras. They're all basically the same company that just have devices in different names. And there are several of them that work with the Alexa um, devices as well. So um, I'll leave links down below to those videos if you'd care to watch them and learn more about them as well. I also wanted to quickly show you what the image looked like at night. So again, you can see up to 16 feet away in the dark. And you can see this is a very clear image. So just wanted to share that with you along with the daytime view. They actually even have some indoor and outdoor cameras that are free when you sign up for a six-month plan of their cloud service. So I will also leave the information on those as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well.